He's six nine. He feels like he plays bigger to me. LP was MVP in the Turkish League last year. He's playing against grown men at 18 years old. He was the MVP at 18. Are you kidding me? He was absolutely dominant as the MVP of the Turkish League. He reminds me of Nick Vucevic of the Chicago Bulls. This guy's making me a problem now. Shangun, this is amazing. In a league with 30 NBA players, the TBL, the Turkish Basketball League, this young man was the MVP. He's not an elite athlete, but he's what we call a basketball player. Again, Shangun, you, you know, Shane Larkin is one of the great players in Turkey, former first-round pick. 30 former NBA players in Turkey in the TBL, John. The second best league domestically in Europe after the Spanish League. He's talking to the ball again. This is what he does, John. He reminds me of Nick Vucevic of the Chicago Bulls. There was a lot of questions by people on this side of the Atlantic about whether he was athletic enough. He knows how to play, John. He's a below-the-rim post player, which sounds like it's a criticism, but it's not. He knows how to get himself fouled. He's very crafty. You'll see the passing also, and eventually the outside shooting. He is not scoring over length. He's going to score with craftiness. See that pass by Shangun? Got himself into the lane. Always knows where the other nine players are. And if you look at a, a Doma Sabonis, if you look at uh, my guy uh, Vucevic with the Bulls, who was a two-time All-Star, the question that a lot of mock drafts and NBA, not the NBA teams, they pretty much knew how good he was. But the reason he, the reason that the teams loved him is because he proved in a league with 30 NBA players that he could play. He was the MVP at 18. Are you kidding me? You know how hard that is? What a steal. And remember, he's not going to have to play a lot this year with Wood and Tice and some of those veterans up front. But what a great group, Raphael Stone, at least in the summer league. We we have seen flashes of terrific play from all three first round picks. I, I just wonder watching Chen Gu and how much interaction he's been able to have with his new teammates. I think he's had more. I think he's talked to the ball more than he's talked to his teammates. What I love about this kid is that 99% of the people in this gym are like, who is this guy? What college did he play at? He might have he might have caused some people to go out and buy some programs today. This guy's ability to play professionally overseas. You are playing against grown men. Yep. And they want no part of, you know, having a youngster take advantage of him. This guy, he can be a problem now. He's 6'9", he feels like he plays bigger to me. Love that. Alpi has no problem getting physical back. I'll print Seng Sengun if I'm saying that correctly. And, and I could not be more impressed. The big has got feel, he's able to make rotations. Like, what did you see in the course of scouting this guy that excited you most? Yeah, I mean, that, that's really what we did see with Alpi is that he, uh, he, he, he's, he's, he's kind of this re weird mix between an old school back to the basket big and a highly skilled perimeter based player. Like he can handle a little bit, he can pass it, um, he can shoot it a little bit. Like he's not, he's not a one dimensional guy, and that is what that is what we saw in him. And we thought, we thought it was really interesting. And on, on top of that, playing in a really, really good professional league, he was absolutely dominant. You know, as the MVP of the Turkish league. So. So we're really excited about him, too. We've been talking about Alper and Shangun having a very good feel out there. But just of note, he speaks very little English. And due to the quick turnaround from the draft, the Rockets haven't hired a full-time translator yet. So he's having to make adjustments in more ways than one. Fortunately, they have a woman who have been, who's been working with assistant coach John Lucas, helping them with player development this summer. Her name is Barbara Turner. She's currently on the bench. She had a storied career in Turkey. They called her Big Turk during her playing days, and Alpern was familiar with her as a player in Turkey and she can do enough to communicate with him and she's working as a de facto translator helping him communicate with coaches and you know they obviously play on getting him a full-time translator guys but it is a notable aspect of his transition to the NBA and very helpful that they've had her around this summer. Speaking with a scout around the NBA today he compared Shen Gun's mentality to that of a Yusef Nurkic the way he approaches the game. I love that. Physical Big, excellent pass, a thinks team first. I like all those balls. I watched film on him, and Rafael Stone did a great job with our draft and drafted a bunch of guys who can step in and play. And, you know, Alpi was MVP of the Turkish League last year. He's playing against grown men at 18 years old. So um, he's a pleasant surprise for me. He's not surprised at all about how he's playing. <laughs> he's a confident kid, but I'm excited to have him. and. Uh, like you were saying earlier, to have an inside presence is always good for a team that's growing. When I was in Dallas, I coached Luca, and, and he had that same, he had already been playing against grown men. So uh, for the same thing for Alpi, 
he's already been playing against grown men. He knows that he's been a professional. He knows kind of what it's all about. So he's not um, bright-eyed about what's going on in this situation. Obviously, it's just summer league, but he has a seriousness about him. He has a uh, attitude that he can be really good, and, and I love it. I love it about him. Shengun is two inches shorter and about 40 pounds lighter than Jokic, and he's not as dynamic at this age, so there may not be NBA MVPs in his future, but there are undeniably some commonalities between them and their skilled, methodical styles, and teams don't want to miss, just like they did in 2014 on Jokic when he went 41st. A more fair comparison for Shengun is somebody like DeMontis Sabonis from the Indiana Pacers. And like Sabonis, Shengun's game isn't solely predicated on scoring. He's a heat-seeking missile as an offensive rebounder. I mean, this dude just plays so hard and has a natural ability to read the trajectory of the ball, and he can really pass the ball too. Basketball is a game of skill, and Alperen Shengun just dominated the third best league in the world at just 18 years old. And he has all of the ingredients to someday become a high-level player player in the NBA. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe and smash that like button. For more basketball content, subscribe to Vintage Dawkins for vintage NBA videos and bookmark freedawkins.com for daily NBA stuff. You can follow us on Twitter at DawkinsMTA and on Instagram at, at DawkinsOfficial for even more basketball content and for channel updates.